How's it going everybody? This is Lockhart here and today I'm going to be talking about Porcelain Tower and specifically letting me sweep the tower because other games do. Not that, you know, we have to do what other games do. I just feel like it's a mechanic that makes a lot of sense. But before we get into it, um, I just want to talk really quickly about, you know, hitting these milestones, whether it's going to be 1k subs or 100k views, that's in total. I would love to be able to do a giveaway, being a, you know, piece of gun plot for somebody, uh, master grade or real grade, I haven't decided yet, um, and be able to celebrate that uh, with everyone. So if we can get there, that would be amazing. And then I'll uh, figure it out, do that big raffle, and then uh, we'll have tons of fun. Now with everything uh going on this week porcelain tower addison ray tower uh oh my god the reckoning blah 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 every everything story mode um with something like tower mode now at 100 floors i feel like it is really missing that portion of like if i have done this already let me sweep it i will veto the rankings i don't i can be unranked you can give me no ranking prize whatever you know or give me the old rank i honestly i don't care just give me the rewards for beating each stage because obviously that's why i want to beat it because maybe there's some things i don't want to finish or i want blossoms of paradise or i want this or i want that from the mog shop you know and and i get that it's like two weeks but for an older player who has done this numerous times i I'm getting, I'm getting tired, guys. I'm getting tired of it. You know, I think we're all getting a little. My OGs out there, y'all getting tired of it, and I know it. And I seen it in Reddit, especially when y'all mentioned that who cares is mind numbing, blah blah blah. And it is the truth. Unless it's some extra floors, sure, we'll do some extra floors. We'll do the extra ten floors to one ten, whatever. But let us sweep these floors, y'all. This is wild that I have to do this a hundred more times and then you know maybe i want to do this no i'm not going to do the ex either and the other thing too is my main tower and my spire of lightning use the same group of people so if a bunch of people are dying on the way up here and i and i happen to be running porcelain tower at the same time they use the same pool of people so they're just dying i just assumed that's the Spire of Lightning was going to be um, all EX stage and people were going to live forever for some reason. And thank God that bravery doesn't get <laughs> lost here. Well, at least not that I've seen, but maybe it does. And I'm just not paying attention. I have no idea. Um, but regardless of whether I have 198 units or not, going up all 100 floors is just crazy. And the tedious part of it too, and this is partly my fault, is that I play on multiple devices so i can't create templates if i'm sweep switching between the two you know and i don't want to use my mobile device to run up 100 floors the entire even if i do a couple floors here and there it's not like what if it's my only game it's my main game but it's not my only game um so tip for new players because again this is mostly for new players and ranting to my old players older players none of us are old we're all young at heart you keep that in your you keep it right here guys I'm going to start going through all of my units and doing some favorite equipment. And, you know, I know some equipment's going to cross over, but changing one equipment here and there is going to be so minuscule compared to being uh, compared to having to do the whole set every single time. And then the other portion, too, is that let's, because I very much focus on mono teams, uh, it's in all contents i just like i just create like you know my mono teams and uh, especially in this when your unit dies i'm gonna be mindful of placement as well so to give you an example in my ice mono team i have a pierce unit here i'm not gonna put you know i i'm i'm not gonna put fravia here i'll put victor because she's also ice pierce and it's just faster and everything crosses over you know, um, I have Velus here, and he's a mage unit. I'll put another mage unit type person here. And uh, Elia, I will switch her out with Eliza. Eliza, Eliza, Eliza. 
um, and, and and make life easy. And I'll probably change Rosa into a slashing unit, and I'll just keep swapping those slashing units. So that way, I'm not redoing the entire bottom half of all these vision cards. Because the other thing too is I have so many vision cards, and I still can't organize them all. And uh, it, you know, so for newer players, it might be a lot easier for you guys. The pool, uh, your roster has not become as enormous as mine, which is close to almost 200, which seeing it is cool, but then, but then it's not, you know? And then the other portion too is uh, if you're playing on a single device, then create your templates. Have your ice one, two, three, four, five, you know? Separate your URs from your MRs and throw your MRs at your easier stages, keeping your URs and your top two UR ice team for later on when you have to run down the run down the line you know because right now i have it all separated by my mono teams which i edit from time to time and then uh party nine and party 10 for me are like extra teams that like i'm just jamming together that have synergy that can impact and then or or mr teams mr teams and uh, ur teams that are ur units that i'm just like splashing in there because like you know that's where they ended up that's kind of it uh, for my rant slash my uh, two cents for newer players who have to go through Porcelain Tower. Um, you know, I'm not super competitive, so I'm not here to do every single stage without having anybody die at all. I'm really chucking units at this, like like rolling them up and, and catapulting them at this tower <laughs> until I win. Um... So I'm not going for a score, and and it would be cool for me to just veto that score, give me the the individual stage awards, and let me call it a day. And then I'm happy, and you have somebody who continues to be happy with the game. But I need the reward, so I'm gonna, I am gonna do it, whatever. Um, but it just sucks because there are so many games that let you sweep, and I feel like that is such a staple mechanic for something like Porcelain Tower, you know. Let me veto the score. Let me sweep. Please. Okay. Anyway, if you've watched until now, please like and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, you know, again, I'm just making my own way right now. And <laughs> it'd be nice to hit partner super fast. Um, 100K views is not the milestone, but it, it, it is for me. You know, it's not, it, it's actually a little bit more than that uh, in YouTube. But I am super cool with. Um, being able to hit that total views just means that you guys um, like what you see or value my work, whatever it is. If there, there's going to be a whole bunch of games coming out in 2023, so they, my channel will go beyond, and I will try to make sure I stay as organized as possible. Um, I will probably only keep up with the relevant ones and the ones I like the most because I, I play for fun. Uh, again, I'm not competitive, and I'm not a meta person, so that's why I don't play games like Genshin. Can't stick to a game that everybody loves that I personally don't. Um, same with PGR, same with uh, Honkai Impact. I don't know if Tower Fantasy is there, but like, you know, whatever. Anyway, appreciate it. Appreciate everybody who has been kind of keeping up and getting me those views up until this point. Honestly, y'all rock stars. I would love to be able to hit that milestone and uh, get something that I love in your house. Uh, it's that, that sounds creepy, but thank you so much. And, um, Take care, everybody.